Aloha, good morning. This is uh, Karambi Davis of Karambi Realty International. Hope everyone's had an amazing week and we're in for an amazing weekend, mothers out there. It's quite an exciting time, especially those with teenagers, to see, get your messages in cards and see how you're doing. It's, <laughs> I was thinking this morning, it's like having a bit of a school report, probably, um, how they view you and how your relationship. And I, I know I'm looking forward to my Mother's Day very much so. Um, anyway, what today we're just going to do a quick uh, briefing of what happened last month. Uh, and let me just share my screen here. And I will make this very efficient to give you the key points. But of course, you can read through the data at your leisure. Uh, as you can see, the April Wahoo statistics, luxury statistics, we do everything about 1.8 million here. Uh, that's uh, what I personally specialize in with my clients. And apart from that, we do multi-family uh, homes, which we have um, two people in our company that specialize in that and other homes all over the island, just so you know, we do it all. Uh, the highest single family home sale was an oceanfront and that was uh, that sold for 8.675 as you can see and that was in Kaimalino, a beautiful area there in Kailua, a gorgeous um, estate like property and let me I'll just show you a picture it, it really is a stunning um, island property as you can see how gorgeous is that a very um, very estate and tranquil and quiet, a very quiet part of there on um, Kailua Beach at the end. And it's got over 3,000 square feet in living area. And, it, you know, just very spacious on Kailua Bay, beautiful ocean and mountain and garden settings. And this sold to an attorney from California. And it was on the market for about 49 days, just to give you an idea here. Now, if we go back to what's going on in the single family homes, and what I'd like to do now is compare um, April 2023 to March 2023. Surprisingly enough, you'll see from this graph, we had less sales um, in April than the month before. Um, there, about a 34% reduction in sold. But certainly that's not reflective of a quiet market right now. And I, I think a lot of that might be just a shortage of inventory. I mean, there's areas where there's one listing um, in um, neighborhoods that you know have over 2,000 homes to give you an idea. Uh, the um, median price did go up a little bit, but pretty much relatively the same. Days on the market were seven day a week faster. And this is an interesting statistic, which is telling me maybe the pricing, we found our point where it's leveled off now and we're going to start getting more competitive offers. But the percentage sold or above asking um, went up 10% from April 2023 to March 2023. And the price per square foot, which went down, which is great. Um, and this one just told me the other day, the price of wood now for constructing homes has gone down. It was crazy there at one time um, with the price of building materials still up there, but not as crazy as it was, I'd say, about eight months ago, I believe. Uh, the price range I just wanted to bring to your attention between 1.8 and 3 million lots of activity it seems like up to about three million in most neighborhoods things get snatched up really quick once you start going above three million it's it's a little more delicate the market in terms of um, you have to have your pricing exact otherwise things will sit on the market but in that price range one eight to three you've got 75 active and 40 pending right now now if we move on to the um, condominium market and I'll just share with you a picture of the highest price condominium and this is in Waiea in the Kaka'ako area. Uh, this sold for 6.8 million and three bedroom, three and a half bath, over 2,600 square feet with its own dedicated elevator, which is very nice, especially if you're living in a condominium. Now to go into the statistics for the um condominium market pretty much the same from um, March and April nine sales not much of a change there but what was really interesting the median price went up about 15 percent from 2.4 to 2.8 million and of course that you have to watch it because there could have been a 10 million dollar sale there that you know statistically can change the statistic statistics quite dramatically so you'd have to look at the detail on where that actually is uh, percentage um, sold at above or asking also went up 10 percent. so any listing it literally sold at the asking price or above and that went up um, the amount of statistics on that went up 10 percent from March 2023 to April 2023 
And I thought what would be interesting is looking in that price range where the highest sold sold for 6.8 million. So between that price range of 6 million to 10 million, there's eight active listings and one pending. So not a lot of inventory in that price range. And that's island wide, just so you know. Um, and hopefully you've got, you've got some good information, but feel free to email me or text or call if you've got specific questions. Um, you do have to work with very knowledgeable brokers in town right now. It's a very tricky market. Uh, Inventory is low. Um, you know, often you're seeing 14 offers come in again. Even though the interest rates are higher, there's a lot of activity out there. And on that note, let's talk about the activity for Mother's Day. I hope you have a lovely activity. And Marianne, of course, has her wonderful photos that I'll share with you. And she's put a real theme about Mother's Day. And the first one here is a chef. We, we're always a chef, of course, <laughs> and, um, you know, cooking for our families. And, and those, you know, of course, you all know Angus is going to graduate um, here in a few weeks. And um, now I'm busily trying to show him how to cook, you know. So we're having home lessons now, um, which is good for him for survival out there in the world. Uh, second, the biggest cheerleader, even in the midst of tantrums, is the mum, of course. And I, I just love how, um, you know, as a mum, Angus just comes to me with issues of, and, you know, having the wisdom we have, Doug and I, we we try to give him the pluses and minuses and he makes the decision. But we we do truly leave it up to him. But hopefully he'll find, um, find his personal values in line with ours as he grows into a young man. Uh, source of comfort. It's nice to know that your kids find you a source of comfort. Um, there's times we want to pull our hair out, but they always need that little nest to come home. It just feels safe, of course. And then, of course, there is no love like a mother's love. It's always there. And, again, happy Mother's Day to the mums out there. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend, and we'll catch up next week. Much mahalo.